the upper world. Follow the fruit of fortune on its long journey as it spreads around the world. Reaching almost every continent, see the way its path unfurls. Its route is rooted in the road of silk. Merchants' movements making a Broadway built to the destination of an orchard quilt that around the earth is curled. A delicious golden gift given by the gods. In the Tianshan Mountains found by horse and bear, it descended down, its pips were snared and spread on, taken by those with travelling jobs. Each apple, a brick in its own pathway, future foundations it would form, each bite cementing cultural causeway for the apple to take the world by storm. It was loved by the Sumerians, the Babylonians, the Persians, Greeks and Romans, and the apple kept on roaming until the fruit became the norm. Destined for circumnavigation, the apple travelled through every nation, a carnation's band around Earth's rotations, connecting countries with its crunch, inspiring history, art and science to unlock its mystery, start, appliance, one belt, one road, one orchard, providing the pips that pack its punch. It set forth out of China and in 1870 it returned, a long journey travelling the world. It's widely grown, widely known, widely loved by everyone, evidence in the estimate of each year's 89 million tons. Variants view varieties voraciously with vigour. And though some are lost, it hasn't cost an industry forever growing bigger. There's Golden and Red Delicious, Ida Red and Johnny Gold, Fuji, Gala, Braeburn, Antonovka in the fold. There's Michelin and Bramley, Pink Lady, Elstar, Granny Smith. Apples are grown around the world and around the world they're shipped and people are holding apples the world over. And that's not something to be missed. <laughs>